Hello everyone. Welcome to the video on concept of gluconeogenesis. Let us understand when does it occur, where does it occur and what happens in gluconeogenesis. Before getting into that, let us understand a situation. See, let's say you are on a fasting. That means you are not taking food. Now, all the time in the blood, there should be 90 to 120 milligrams per deciliter of glucose should be there. Why it is required? Because brain, red blood cells, nervous tissue, uh, renal medulla are solely depend upon the glucose for their energy. So all the time you need to have that amount of glucose in the blood. Now how do we get glucose? When we eat carbohydrates that will get digested and releases glucose. If you are not eating, let's say you are on, on fasting or starving, glucose supply is not there. So what happens is to maintain the level of glucose in blood, in the liver glycogenolysis occurs. Glycogenolysis means breakdown of glycogen. When glycogen breaks down, it releases glucose that gets into the blood and maintains the levels of glucose in the blood. Now, how long it maintains? The stores of glycogen is only for 10 to 12 hours. After that, liver glycogen stores are completely reduced. Now, understand this one. Only liver can produce glucose which will maintain the level of glucose in the blood. Muscle, even though it has got glycogen, it cannot release glucose to the blood. So glycogenolysis is not possible because the stores of glycogen will not be there after 10 to 12 hours. Then what happens is liver takes non-carbohydrate source and converts it into glucose. Why non-carbohydrate source? Because you are not eating food, carbohydrates are not coming, the reserve stores are not there. So in the body whatever the non-carbohydrates are there it will pick certain molecules and convert into glucose. So this process is called as gluconeogenesis. Genesis means formation. Neo means new or other than carbohydrates. Glucose means glucose. Formation of glucose from non-carbohydrate source is gluconeogenesis. What are these non-carbohydrate sources? Sir? Pyruvate, lactate, glycerol 3-phosphate and most of the intermediates of citric acid cycle and most of the amino acid except lysine and leucine. Rest of 18 amino acids can be converted into glucose. So all these serves as gluconeogenesis so sources or starting uh, materials. Now, let us understand one by one process. See, pyruvate can also get converted back to glucose. This is the opposite of glycolysis. In glycolysis, glucose is converted to pyruvate. Now in gluconeogenesis, we are converting pyruvate to glucose. This again happens in liver. See, in kidneys, certain, certain amounts of gluconeogenesis happens. But the major organ involved in gluconeogenesis is liver. Now, when you see glycolysis, you have 10 steps are there. Out of 10, 7 are reversible steps, but 3 are irreversible steps. So these, these 3 steps happens in liver with special enzymes. Let us understand the steps. Pyruvate to phosphoenol pyruvate. Conversion occurs in 2 steps. Pyruvate is converted to oxaloestate in mitochondria. Why? Because the enzyme pyruvate carboxylase is present only in mitochondria. So pyruvate gets into mitochondria, there it gets converted to oxaloestate. Again oxaloestate comes back to cytosol. In the cytosol, oxaloestate is converted back to phosphoenol pyruvate with the help of an enzyme phosphoenol pyruvate carboxykinase. So this is one irreversible step. So from pyruvate, you got phosphoenol pyruvate. Again it goes back because all of them are reversible steps. The same enzyme works. Again the reversible step is fructose 1,6-biphosphate to fructose 6-phosphate. Now, for, see, removal of phosphate is possible with enzymes phosphatases. So, fructose 1,6-bis-phosphatase converts fructose 1,6-biphosphate to fructose 6-phosphate. Now, again, it, 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 it converts to glucose 6-phosphate with isomerase, which is reversible enzyme. Now, the last step, glucose 6-phosphate to glucose happens with the help of an enzyme glucose 6-phosphatase. Again, this particular enzyme is present in the lumen of endoplasmic reticulum only in liver and kidney. So, mostly, see you have four different enzymes are required. One enzyme is present in mitochondria. Two of the enzymes are present in cytosol. The last enzyme, glucose 6-phosphatase, is present in endoplasmic reticulum. And all these enzymes are available only in liver and kidney. So, the major gluconeogenesis happens only in liver and kidney. Kidney to small extent, but the major organ is liver. So, this is the conversion of pyruvate to glucose. The other one, lactate. Lactate is formed during hypoxic or anaerobic conditions. Glucose is converted to pyruvate. When oxygen is not available, pyruvate is converted to lactate. This happens in skeletal muscles. When we do rigorous exercise or severe work, at that particular time, lactate will be formed. Now, this lactate gets back to liver. 
in the liver lactate is dehydrogenated with the help of an enzyme lactate dehydrogenate forms pyruvate pyruvate to glucose is there so again this is gluconeogenesis now the next one glycerol 3 phosphate is also dehydrogenated with the help of an enzyme glycerol 3 phosphate dehydrogenase and glycerol 3 phosphate is converted to dihydroxyhistone phosphate dhap this dhap is an intermediate of glycolysis again it goes back to glucose with the enzyme help so again this is another pathway now most of the amino acids will get converted back by trans amino step especially alanine alanine the amine group is removed and a ketone group is attached with the help of an enzyme trans aminase and this results in pyruvate pyruvate again gets converted back to glucose most of the citric acid intermediates if you remember the citric acid cycle it starts with oxaloestate so all all these intermediates can get back to oxaloestate oxaloestate can get converted back to phosphoenol pyruvate and again it goes back to glucose so this is what is gluconeogenesis is. the important things are liver is the major organ for gluconeogenesis enzymes see gluconeogenesis from pyruvate to glucose four different enzymes are required one enzyme is present in mitochondria what is that pyruvate carboxylase two enzymes are present in cytosol phosphoenol pyruvate carboxykinase and fructose 1 6 bisphosphatase these two are present in cytosol glucose 6 phosphatase is present in lumen of endoplasmic reticulum these are the important things again Cori cycle in the muscle lactate is formed the lactate gets back to liver in the liver it gets converted back to pyruvate this is Cori cycle so this is about gluconeogenesis Thank you for watching this video.